degenerative disease, myocarditis, Bell's palsy, liver disease, impaired adaptive immunity, impaired DNA damage response, etc. So it's possible, in fact, it's looking likely that the vaccine might suppress the immune system. This fact, the authors concluded, will, quote, have a wide range of consequences, not the least of which include the reactivation of latent viral infections and the reduced ability to effectively combat future infections, end quote. Now, again, we sincerely hope that's not true. But it's not just the conclusion of one scientific journal. The Lancet, maybe the most famous scientific journal in the world, released similar findings in February. The Lancet's piece was entitled, quote, risk of infection, hospitalization and death up to nine months after a second dose of COVID-19 vaccine. A physician called Kenji Yamamoto made this observation about the data from The Lancet. He wrote this in a letter to the Journal of Virology, and we're quoting. The study showed that immune function among vaccinated individuals eight months after the administration of two doses of COVID-19 vaccine was lower than that among the unvaccinated individuals. Ah, now your first response, if you're a humane person, to a line like that has got to be deep sympathy. Because people were misled, they were forced. They were forced. Medical ethics thrown out the window. People were forced to take medicine they didn't want. And some of them may have been hurt by it. And you don't have to take this man's word for it. Pull up the Lancet study yourself. You won't find anything of the text of the article saying what Kenji Yamamoto said, which is weird. Why would the Lancet want to hide a major finding like that? We can't say. But if you look at table three in the piece, here's what you'll find buried in the data. Among people around the age of 80 who have been double vaccinated, that would include people like Joe Biden, the per capita rate of medical incidences, including hospitalizations or death, is nearly twice as high as the rate of serious incidents for the unvaccinated. This is 180 days after vaccination. What is that? And why is no one interested? 